Next one, we're going to find the product. So we just have to distribute. All right, tell me what do you get when you distribute minus 4 k to the power of 7 times minus 3 k to the power of 5. What would be the first term? What's minus 4 times minus 3? Okay, now you're multiplying now. Negative 1 times negative 1 is equal to positive 1. If I have a negative 4 times negative 3, 3 times 4 is equal to 12, negative times negative would be positive. Okay, don't confuse yourself with adding. Then I have negative 4, negative 3, then you would be right. Then you would be, you would have negative 7. The sign stays negative and then you add, you add the two integers. This would be like you have negative 4 plus negative 3. That would be negative 7. So you have negative 4 times negative 3, that should be equal to plus 12. Can I see a check mark if you follow that? So it would be 12 k to the power of what? If k to the power of 7 times k to the power of 5, did you put 35? Okay, remember a to the power of n times a to the power of m, what do you do with the exponents? You add them. Remember we had that earlier? Talked about that somewhere here, right? This is where we talked about. You add the exponents. Does that make sense? So here we have k to the power of what then? 12. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and distribute this uh, second one. Minus 4k to the power of 7 times minus 2k to the power of 2. That would be what? So this is minus 4 times minus 2. Plus, very good, plus 8k to the power of you add the exponents. 9, excellent. Okay, next one. Minus 4k to the power of 7 times minus 3. What is that equal to? Minus 4 times minus 3. That's equal to what? Very good. Plus 12k to the power of 7. Excellent. That's how you distribute that.